This is the Creality Falcon 2 22 Watt Laser Engraver and Cutter. Today we'll be putting this powerful 22 watt laser to the test. Welcome back to Space Age Tech, where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. Let's unbox this unit and take a look at the specs. The unit comes with an already pre-assembled frame, making setup quick and easy. There's a quick start guide and some beginner friendly instructions. We love that they included some kid-friendly stickers. If you're doing this as a family or hobby, this might be a really good way to introduce your kids to laser engraving. Of course, always with adult supervision. This is our Air Assist unit, which is very commonly sold separately with other laser machines. The Air Assist allows the machine to cut deeper with less burn marks. Next, we have an AC adapter and the power cord. This is our 22 watt laser module. This laser is composed of four powerful 6 watt laser diodes that are then compressed to increase the laser power to 22 watts. As always, safety is first. These are the protective goggles that come with the unit. You should use them anytime the machine is operating. We also have a rotary roller, which helps when engraving cylindrical objects like goblets. It's adjustable in width for various diameter ranges and keeps the object more steady. We won't be testing this today, but let us know if you're interested in another video to see this accessory in action. This is a honeycomb workbench for the laser engraver. It's 500 millimeters by 500 millimeters. With an 8mm large aperture, the honeycomb design contributes to faster heat dissipation and exhaustion of smoke. The honeycomb platform and aluminum plate are combined to protect the desktop from damage. The unit also comes with testing materials so you can find the optimal settings for your project. Remember, always test before you engrave. And finally, we have our frame. As you can see, the frame is already pre-assembled. This is a sleek, higher-end design that is beginner-friendly. Here is the final setup with our Air Assist, our 22-watt laser, and our rotary rollers. You will notice that this machine does not have a display, but can engrave from the last file in memory. Or you can have it hooked up to your desktop or laptop. Let's get started with our material engraving tests. First up, MDF engraving. As always, we are doing an engraving test first to find the best settings for the material. Keep in mind that it's a good idea to run a test since the engraving result can depend greatly on the quality of your materials, humidity, etc. Although this clip has been sped up, the Falcon 2 has an ultra fast engraving speed of 25,000 millimeters per minute. You can see our results here. At higher speed and lower power, you'll get lighter engraving, whereas with full power and slower speed, you'll get a much deeper and darker engraving. We're going to pick something in the middle for an engraving of a Celtic knot. This is one pass at 330 millimeters per second and 90% power. These lines are just beautifully dark and crisp. Let's continue with a plywood engraving test. You can see that there's some burning on the higher power, slower speed settings. Luckily, the Falcon 2 has many safety features. One of them is the triple monitoring system, which displays three LED lights making sure that the airflow is working, there's no fire, and that the lens is clean. When a flame is detected, the indicator will flash with an alarm and the machine will stop immediately. Make a note that you must turn on the alarm function. 
Other safety features include bidirectional limit switch. If the machine hits the limit, it will automatically stop. Also, there's an active stop function in case of accidental tilt, flip, or drop of the machine, and it will, of course, stop working. There's also an emergency stop to stop the machine, and another good feature is a key lock this is especially useful if you have curious little ones at home or want to restrict access to the machine. This is our result on the upper left hand corner of the plywood engraving test. You can see it engraves the material well, although there's some room for improvement with our settings choice. Next, we are doing a plywood cut test in one pass. This time, we will cut all the way through the plywood with our Celtic knot design. This is a beautiful design, but you can see we had to lightly push some of the sections through to detach them, and some did not cut all the way through. At this point, we would consider modifying our settings or programming a second pass to cut through all the way. Let's try an engraving test on cork. In this clip, you can see the fumes coming from the material as it's being engraved. This is the reason we highly recommend an enclosure with adequate ventilation for any laser engraving machine. From our results, you can see that we can achieve crispier lines at a lower power and higher speed. During our cork cutting test, we discovered that this is not necessarily the best material. Uh, you can see we started to get a lot of burning, uneven patches, etc. We ended up stopping the machine, and as you can see from the results, they're less than optimal. All right, so now that we had a chance for the smoke to clear, we'll move on to acrylic. First we'll do an engraving test. In this case, we did half the Celtic knot because of the size of the material and it did a wonderful job. We are pleased with the result in this material. You can see the Falcon 2 easily cut through all the sections of this half Celtic knot. Now we'll do an engraving test on acrylic. You can see the result is near perfect. We definitely enjoy working with this material. Let's run an engraving test on stainless steel. When stainless steel is heated by a super powerful laser beam, the metal surface will physically react and produce hundreds of colors, bringing your works to life. You can see with this material, it's possible to get some beautiful colors depending on the settings of your Falcon 2. We engraved this Celtic knot on our stainless steel tin and here's the result. Again, beautiful crisp lines. Let's do a little tougher material, galvanized steel. We hadn't had much luck using this material with other laser engravers, so let's see what the Falcon 2 can do. You can see here that we weren't able to mark this material, so unfortunately, it's still a bad candidate for our laser engraver. Now we have an opaque glass engraving. These are the results of our glass engraving. As you can see, unfortunately, there's some distortion in the design on the left-hand side of this piece. This is where the rotary tool might have come in handy. However, also note that there's some ridges to this uh, glass piece, so that might have affected the quality. Let's move on to tile engraving. For our first pass at engraving, you'll see that this is not a very deep engraving, and you can see the grain of the actual tile show through, which makes it look less uniform than we would like. Let's do another test on tile, but this time we'll try a more powerful setting so it can engrave deeper. 
Here are the results from our second try at tile engraving. We definitely did see the potential on this one and this deeper engraving shows it. You can see all the lines are so crisp and beautiful. Um, we didn't lose any of the design, very high quality. All right, well, that was our very last test. And here's the results from all the tests we conducted on the Falcon 2 22 watt laser engraver. Our acrylic engraved and cut beautifully, crisp lines without defects. Plywood was definitely a bit tougher, especially because the material is not uniform, so we didn't get a consistent result overall. And it was unfortunately that we got some burn through. MDF, as always, gives us great results. You can see the outstanding difference between plywood and MDF. MDF is much nicer to engrave because it has a more uniform consistency. Cork was unfortunately a very big fail for us. There might be other things we can do with adjusting the settings to the with the lowest power, but overall we felt this was not the optimal material for the Falcon 2. And for our tile, you can see this is our first pass. It looks a little rough, but still we can see the design pretty well. However, on our second try, and we did this a little bit deeper, you can see all the lines are crisp. This is definitely a beautiful engraving and something you can really work with for a project or an item to sell. And finally, we have our glass. We believe this has some potential, but there needs to be more tests. Overall, the Falcon 2 22 watt laser engraver and cutter is a great machine. It was easy to set up and get started. It's definitely met our expectations in terms of quality and performance. We just hope future versions have a display for ease of use. We'll be reviewing more interesting tech in our upcoming videos, so stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow.